Is customer service by Amazon worth it for Amazon sellers? My name is Ian, and I've been an Amazon seller for many years. And I got these emails starting about a year ago from the Amazon CSBA team, basically saying that I could offload customer service for my Amazon orders uh, to Amazon's world-class customer service team. And immediately my spidey sense went up. I was very skeptical that Amazon would be providing a superior, superior service to what I can do myself. And after being you know, burned by many other Amazon services that were launched and targeting sellers, including Amazon Transparency, I decided not to go with this. Uh, they threw a bunch of interesting looking uh, statistics at me though. So A to Z claims were reduced by 42%. Customer negative feedback was reduced by 37%. And I was kind of skeptical of that because I think unless you're completely incompetent, it's really hard to screw up customer service uh, unless you're basically trying to cheat people or you just do not know how to handle the basics of selling something, not only on Amazon, but anywhere. So uh, they sent these emails. They promised, made these big promises about CSBA. I just didn't trust Amazon to handle my customer service that well, ha having been an Amazon customer in the past and also having been uh, targeted by other Amazon services that just didn't really pan out that well. So they stopped sending the emails and I kind of forgot about it until the Amazon Seller Central Forms had a review of somebody who has actually been using this service and had a terrible experience. Uh, this person said, that I don't post that often anymore, uh, but I just wanted to talk about Amazon, uh, cu Amazon customer service by Amazon. And uh, they said, of the many complaints that they had, one of them was my feedback rate was the lowest it's ever been in 122 months. Um, and he, he talked about some of the details. And I'd just like to note that that flies in the face of what they were saying uh, when they were trying to promote the service to me. They said customer, ser customer negative feedback was reduced. But this guy says his customer negative feedback increased. And then he talked about other experiences like, um, you know, issues that he was able to resolve before quite easily through, by directly interacting with the customer. Amazon would just basically give the customer an instant refund and uh, not allow safety claims or anything else. So this person posted this experience using customer service by Amazon. And then many other people dug in, like 54 people have dug in so far and saying this basically saying the same thing um one person talking about his experience as a buyer um talking about uh i tend to agree i've had csba for free and i almost still want to get rid of it because they just hand your money out to customers who complain without a care in the world or even attempt to solve the issues at hand properly a few people noticed that when you're when you're asking somebody else to take over your your uh, customer service responsibilities oftentimes if there's no incentive for them to really kind of listen to you, for instance, you know, th these are just low paid overseas workers at an Amazon customer service center someplace. They don't have any loyalty to your particular business. They're basically doing, uh, you know, they're just basically getting a job from Amazon and they probably deal with, you know, dozens, if not hundreds of other com small companies like yours. So they don't really know your products. They don't really understand your business. And they're just looking for a paycheck from Amazon. They're not really incentivized to, to be to have any sort of special insights about your business other than some uh, statistics on a screen.